Okay, today I got a Buick Century here on the workbench. Um, this one was uh, brought to me from a local mechanic. Uh, they had already taken the back off of this one. Um, it's actually not the original one to the customer's car. Uh, this one's from a junkyard. They bought it, had the same problem going on with it as the original one because the problem that's going on with it is super common. So we have a dead odometer screen. Let's uh, go ahead and power it up real quick. This is another one of the ones I don't do enough of these to justify going and cutting the pigtail out of a car. Uh, so I just put the pins in where they go. Um, so let's go ahead and power it up real quick. Just see. So yeah. Everything's sweeping, it turns on all the way, so everything's functional, uh, except we're just uh, missing the odometer screen. So let's take this thing apart real quick and uh, see what's going on inside here. All right, so this one, uh, it's like the 99-02 to trucks where you don't need to do anything under the front cover. You just take this back cover off. Like I said, somebody's already been inside here. It was the mechanic. Uh, the uh, lady that works the front desk there actually uh, showed me what they had diagnosed on it. So, uh, you know, they seem to be pretty knowledgeable. So we get the cover off and then this just pulls off just like the, uh, 99 to 02. So then we're done with this portion of it. And we'll flip it over and you will notice right away that we are missing Three resistors, there's only one of them still standing there, uh, and I bet you, let's see here, yep, comes right off. So, uh, yeah, the 150 ohm resistors uh, came off here. So, uh, these are a um, MELF package, it's M-E-L-F, uh, and the joke is it stands for uh, most end up laying on the floor, uh, so M-E-L-F. Uh, it's actually um, like uh, metal electrode leadless base or something like that um, is, is what it really stands for. But yeah, they're just, uh, it's basically an axial resistor. So we're just going to replace those, put, put uh, four, four resistors on there. I, there. I think there's a reason why they, like, like why manufacturers use these. Uh, I believe it's because you can, well... It's not necessarily the manufacturers using its reason, but manufacturing a film resistor in this axial gives it more surface area to uh, dissipate heat, so you can get a little more wattage out of the uh, size package. Uh, I believe is the reason why resistor manufacturers make these. I don't know why any, any <laughs> manufacturer here would use them. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, clean that off. So we... I, the pads are pretty shiny. I'm pretty sure somebody may have tried to reflow this already before. Um, but uh, normally they'll be super, super corroded. Oh yeah, and, and these have been reflown down here. So yeah, somebody's been in here and, and tried to work it at some point in time. Um, but let's uh, just go ahead and clean that up. And eh, we'll leave that. We'll, we'll work that in a minute. All right, so I'm gonna replace it with some of the flat film resistors instead. It's 150 ohms. Um, so let me get four of those. Again, I'm sitting over here. All right. Don't, don't mind the extra zero on there. It means nothing. These are 150 ohm. All right. I'll zoom in so y'all can see. There you go. So yeah, that's not 1500 ohms. That, that is 150 ohms. It's one, zero, one, five, zero, and zero extra zeros is, is what that means. So if it was one, five, zero on there, we'd be dealing with a 15 ohm resistor. Uh, okay, so get a little bit of flux on all of these. And we're just going to go ahead and tin one pad on each of them. So we're just tinning the one pad. We'll just go ahead and get all of these on here.
And if you guys are thinking to yourself, man, those sure look like they've been soldered on before. That's uh, because they have. I uh, had an Impala board that was just laying around that I'd put these on um, just to practice on. And I couldn't find my baggie of 150 ohm resistors, so I just pulled them off of there. So that's those. Now let's uh, clean those guys up. I'll just go ahead and put a little extra. Whoa, almost lost my <laughs> lost my grip there on the soldering iron. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, let's get the, uh, the other one out here and line that back up, make it look a little prettier. I think these ones are forty-seven ohms, or something like that. I'm not not completely sure here on those two. I think it's 47. I don't think they're the 150 ohm resistors. Okay. That gets those two sitting where they're supposed to be. Turn off the other soldering iron. All right. Let's get a little extra flux on there. All right, and that gets that excess solder off. Um... Okay, so uh, we got to put those pins back in it to test the screen here. Oh, I know I left them in. Never mind. All right, so we had two grounds and one positive. Sorry, one ground and two positives. All right, so let's see if that worked. There we go. We have a working screen here. Cool. So uh, yeah, that's a successful repair. Let's put this thing back together. Before I put it back together, I do like to reflow uh, these guys on on this particular one. Uh, they're pretty much, if if they, it's just those two, uh, sometimes I run into them having cracked solder joints on them. I think those are really the only ones I ever have problems with on here. I don't do a ton of these Buick um, so if uh, somebody else knows of any other ones that are commonly cracked solder joints on here, uh, comment down below. Uh, but the, yeah, those are really the only ones I ever know of. Um, these bulbs sometimes burn out, but they're, they're the same ones they used in those 9902 Chevy trucks, so they pretty rarely burn out. It's not very common. Um, so yeah, let's uh, put this thing back together now, and uh, we'll call this a successful repair. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we, we got a successful repair here, fixing this Buick Century, uh, just fixing the odometer screen, put a couple of 150 ohm resistors on there. Uh, make sure you get uh, quarter watt uh, rated resistors when you do it. And uh, yeah, so this is the one out of the four that was still standing and replaced it, put four, four new ones on there and we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you in the next one.